Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to take a simple uh, JaxOS application or microprofile application, um, which uh, ships with AWS Corcus Lambda CDK project, then use the CDK and uh, to ship it as or deploy it as AWS Lambda, and then take a look at the cold start and the overall performance. So let's start with that. And for this purpose, I would like to use a script which just clones the um, the template and I'll call it microprofile Quarkus. Uh, nice name. So there are two um, two distinct ma um, Maven projects. One's, one is called CDK and the other one is just the uh, business logic. So what I would like to do is I would like to start with the deployment right away because it takes time. And uh, so I would like to use the build, build and deploy don't ask script, which ships with the template, what's inside basically Maven clean package or Maven package and a CDK deploy. Okay, so now we have it. And uh, now take a look at the source code on the business logic. And there are two classes. One is called greetings resource, which represents the, um, the uh, JaxRS endpoint. And uh, it gets comes with injected greeter and the greeter comes with injected microprofile configuration property. So um, it is exactly the same code you would write on a microprofile application or Jakarta E application, so no difference here. And the only difference is because uh, the uh, uh, Quarkus uses the uh, uh, Amazon, Amazon Lambda REST extension, um, there is a function.zip inside, which we uh, will use CDK, uh, we will use CDK to deploy the function.zip to AWS. And this is the CDK project and um, it is um, relevant because in the stack we defined the amount of RAM and this is 512 uh, megabyte of RAM. So with 1.8 gigabyte of RAM, we get one CPU. So this is like uh, a third, roughly a third of a CPU. And this concurrency does matter, but uh, what we see here, that the lambda target function.zip is deployed here. So okay, take a look at the um, at uh, my account, and the lambda is already deployed, and the package size are 15 uh, uh, 15 megabyte of RAM. So uh, let's take a look um, at the function, and we could use the API gateway from outside. Um, but what I would like to do is to test the cold start, and we could actually emulate the HTTP request. What I will have to do is to search for uh, API gateway AWS proxy call and uh, our resource we already know it is going to be hello hello and uh, we would like to have a get request so let's see what happens so um, we are invoking the uh, function directly and by the way this is synchronous invocation and it seems like it was successful so um, what uh, happened here the, uh, it took one second and the, we got the return um, hello Quarkus as AWS Lambda. And we saw the first invocation took one second. So the cold start on a third of CPU is one second. So let's do it again. So I'm already curious about uh, the performance. So I will have to close that and uh, do it again and say uh, test. And now it's significantly faster. So there are 28 milliseconds. So the entire microprofile application was invoked in 20, 28 milliseconds, which is remarkable. So it will be a little bit slower because the API gateway will also take a few milliseconds. So we needed to invoke the, the application uh, from outside. But as we can see, um, so uh, the uh, entire an entire microprofile application can be packaged with Quarkus, shipped to Lambda, and um, uh, yeah, and it's going to be invoked roughly in 28 milliseconds. So we can do it again. Uh, I guess it is going to be a little bit faster because it gets optimized. You see, now we get roughly five milliseconds. So now why it's faster and faster? Because uh, Java ships with the hotspot, which optimized the function. And now uh, the call is uh, five milliseconds. In a previous screencast, I did a similar evaluation and an empty asynchronous AWS Lambda with on Java, on JVM, took uh, one and a half millisecond. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, AirHacks Live, or even projects. Thank you and bye.